The end Cretaceous European archipelago was home to unique faunas of dinosaurs and other animals, some of which were dwarves or had other peculiar traits presumably connected to their insular environments. However, little is known about the extinct theropod dinosaur part of these ecosystems, which are largely represented by teeth or other fragmentary bits and bobs. A single theropod foot bone from Spain's latest Maastrichtian age may be a new type of troodontid, the first from Europe. Let's meet Damaro. Europe was a chain of islands occupied by various and unique groups of dinosaurs and other animals during the run-up to the end Cretaceous mass extinction, roughly 77 to 66 million years ago. Many of these species have unusual characteristics that might have been caused by a limitation of space and resources in their insular homes. Dwarf sauropod and ornithischian dinosaurs which grew super slowly, tiny alien theropods, and mammals with itty bitty brain sizes were but a taste. Furthermore, these faunas differed markedly from those found on the nearest mainlands of Asia and North America. The typical European island fauna included titanosaurian sauropods, rhabdodontid iguanodontians, nodosaurid ankylosaurians, early hadrosauroids, lambiosaurine hadrosauroids, and abelisauroid and maniraptoran theropods. As more fossils of these species are uncovered, they become more important for building up the understanding of how dinosaurs and other vertebrate animals evolved prior to the end Cretaceous asteroid impact as well as helping to challenge notions of quick versus slow extinction. There's definitely still significant gaps in our knowledge of these island faunas, both in terms of composition and change across time. Little is known about theropod dinosaurs who were the top predators on the mainland and most likely on the islands during this time period, although they had plenty of competition with gigantic pterosaurs. Theropods evolved into omnivorous and herbivorous species as well. According to current knowledge, theropod faunas were dominated by small-sized dromaeosaurids weighing less than 50 kilograms, the fossils of which have been discovered in the latest Cretaceous formations of the Ibero-Amorican region, which includes the current countries of Portugal, Spain, and southern France, and in Transylvania or modern Romania. Regrettably, they are almost entirely represented by isolated teeth and eggshell pieces. Skeletal remains are quite rare. The incomplete skeleton of the dual sickle claw wielding bird, Balor Bondok, and the more fragmentary species of the raptor's Pyroraptor Olympius and Variraptor Mechanorum are two outliers. Knowing more about theropods that lived on islands might help in the understanding of the paleoecology and paleobiogeography of these insular habitats. Several paleogeographic, climatic, and biotic changes occurred globally at the end Cretaceous period. In the middle Maastrichtian, there was a turnover among the dinosaur faunas in the European archipelago. Notosaurids vanished and more basic rhabdodontids gave way to bigger and more advanced hadrosauroids. However, it is unknown if these faunal turnovers influenced the theropods. It is also unknown where theropods of the Ibero-Amorican landmass originated, and if they were island dwarfs or were somehow influenced differently by their island home. Any new theropod fossils discovered might throw light on these topics. In 2021, Albert Seles, Bernat Villa, Stephen Brusari, Phil Curry, and Angel Gallobart released a report in Scientific Reports describing a newly found theropod bone from the Ibero Armorican island near the end of the Cretaceous, within 200,000 years of the mass extinction. Its distinct anatomical characteristics enable it to be identified as a new species and genus. Furthermore, its histology reveals a development pattern in which it ballooned in size early on in its life, quickly achieving subadult size. The new species lived during the early Maastrichtian faunal turnover on the island, which helps establish the sources and durations of the migratory waves that introduced the newcomers to the European archipelago. 
a team of paleontologists from the Musu de la Conca de la Dea found the fossil in September 2003 at the Santa Roma de Abella site. According to the most current stratigraphic data, the Santa Roma de Abella site is located in the upper section of the Tremp Group's fluvial Talarn formation. The Santa Roma de Abella site's fossil-bearing horizon is found in a 1.5 meter thick grayish marl layer that is a part of an 18 meter thick sedimentary sequence associated to the formation of a river floodplain. The fossiliferous strata produced many plant fossils, as well as the type specimen of the Syntosaurin lambiosaurine Peroraptodon isonensis. The theropod specimen was discovered a few decimeters from Peroraptodon bones and is the only other vertebrate recovered at the location. According to magnetostratigraphic and biochronologic calibrations, the Santa Roma de Abella site lies within the C29R magnetocron which is of the latest Maastrichtian stage of the latest Cretaceous, putting this little theropod bone within the last 200,000 years before the K-Pig border. This is the new theropod fossil. Yup, just a single stinking foot bone, a fragmented right metatarsal too. Because the fossil is essentially only one bone, I decided we could take our time going through the list the researchers used to identify the fossil as a new genus and species a pronounced plantar ridge, a tiny foramen on the lateral aspect of the plantar ridge, and a sub metatarsalian condition with the metatarsal 3 limited to the plantar edge on its proximal section are among the characteristics. As a result of these identified traits, the team named the new animal Tamaro Insperitus. Tamaro is a Catalan term that refers to a little and elusive wonderful creature from regional legend while the species name is derived from the Latin word for unexpected, in reference to the specimen's surprise finding. Tamaro's unique specimen, MCD-7073, has just enough characteristics to identify it from all theropods found in the rocks it was discovered in, as well as any closely related theropods. The bone has characteristics with primitive troodontids, but differs significantly from other clades of Cretaceous tiny theropods, Tamaro is therefore classified as an early branching troodontid theropod, a group of dromaeosaurs with long snooty snoots, long spindly hind limbs, and enormous wet sloppy brains. However, the team did not stop there because it's simply a basic leg bone, you can pretty much conduct whatever test you want. That basically meant some histology tests in this scenario. They cut a piece, polished it, mounted it, and examined it under the scope with various lighting. Damato's physiology is shown by histological sectioning of the proximal shaft. The bone cortex is mostly made of primary lamellar and fibrolamellar tissue with mostly longitudinal vascularity. The medullary cavity is surrounded by a thin avascular layer of endosteal lamellar bone. The inner cortex is composed of compact coarse cancellous bone with extensive main longitudinal vascular canals. Initial cancellous gaps filled with lamellar bone deposits with additional cancellous vacuities around the medullary cavity. Tomato insperitus has certain unique characteristics among non-avian theropods, according to histological study. The specimen's original bone is largely composed of compact, coarse, cancellous, and laminar fibrolamellar tissues with well-developed longitudinal vascularity, indicating a rapid development rate as it matured. This is in contrast to the known alternating of fibrolamellar and plexiform tissues in various Silurosaurian theropods. Damato most likely has compact, coarse, cancellous bone since the histology sample was obtained at the bone's proximal epiphysis, the sort of bone discovered inside its, um, bone suggests that the animal had not yet achieved sexual maturity when it died, but the development of its tissues suggests that it was at a more advanced life stage, having gained subadult body size. This view fits with the interwoven structure seen on the surface of the metatarsal too, a pattern linked with dinosaur skeletal maturity. Tomato acquired subadult body size far sooner than other non-avian theropods due to its high growth rate early in life, 
but comparable to existing paleonathid birds, according to osteohistological findings. Although troodontids are known to be fast-growing, only May Long, which reached sexual maturity at the age of two years, has shown comparable rapid initial growth rates without bone remodeling, as in Tamaro. Liaoning Venator achieved maturity in four years, while advanced troodontids needed longer time. In example, the presence of laminar fibrolamellar tissues in well-developed longitudinal vascularity in Tamaro insperitus is more akin to that of other primitive troodontids than to that of more evolved ones. If this is the case, histological data confirms the phylogenetic and anatomical findings that Tamaro is a basal troodontid. Olmagan, a paleoartist, has supplied some early and inventive conjecture regarding Tamaro. What modern dinosaur develops extremely quickly in its early life? It's the cuckoo, a bird known for depositing its eggs in the nests of other, typically smaller birds, and forcing the new parents to raise the cuckoo youngster. The cuckoo chick hatches before its parents' biological young and will push the other eggs out of the nest to acquire all of the food the parent birds deliver. Even when it outgrows them, the phony parents will continue to feed it. So, certainly, the cuckoo is a terrible parent and a brood parasite. Of course, such behavior in extinct species is difficult to impossible to verify. But we may still speculate. Perhaps some non-avian dinosaurs did it as well. The motto might have been one of them. Who knows? An adult female Pyroraptor Olympius, a one and a half meter dromaeosaur, has brought an Albinerpetan nexuosis, a salamander like amphibian, to feed its offspring, as shown here. However, it is not its biological child. The dromaeosaur is rearing a Tamaro insperitus, which has grown bigger than the raptor but is still juvenile, and feeds on food given by the uncooperative adoptive parent. The Troodontid's original mother put an egg in the dromaeosaur's clutch, and when it hatched, the newborn Tamaro immediately killed the pyroraptor eggs so it could have all the food to itself. This is just guesswork, but it's the type I like seeing, so why not say something about it? The existence of Troodontids in Europe has long been questioned, owing to the fact that their fossil record was previously based completely on single teeth. The earliest troodontid evidence in Europe stems from the early Cenomanian stage and is based on the finding of a single solitary tooth in western France. Several troodontid-like and pyronicodon teeth, a dubious taxon referred to as troodontid by some, were discovered from the Campanian and Maastrichtian sediments of ancient Hattig Island, now Romania, and ancient Ibero-Armorican islands, today Portugal, France, and Spain. In Romania, the mysterious fossils of Bredictomy, Draculae, and Elopteryx Nopsci were assigned to the Troodontidae, but further research disproved this. As a result, the discovery of Tamaro and Speritus in the latest Maastrichtian deposits from the Southern Pyrenees represents the first unequivocal bone evidence of this group of small-sized non-avian theropods in Europe and confirms the presence of troodontids in that continent's theropod faunal assemblage. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Elephant Tier patrons Abby Smith, Arda Bayer, Biotiverse, Cherry Shaw, Chris Frampton, Christoph Hubbinger, Dinosaur, Ed Peretz, Isaiah Garza, Jax the Hacks, Natty Cat, PA Brew News, Ray, Rudy Redgrave, Smiling Walrus, Staniforth Hopkins, Steve Bradshaw, Thea Svensson, and Extraterrestrial. As well as my top as tier Tyrannosaurus patrons, Admin, Antron, Aphid Kirby, Cyber, Dana Manchester, Danny Van Heck, Henry Brennan, Iberospinus, Iron Bladesman, Joshua Mana, Panic, Radio 404, Robert Kessler, Ruben Zachariah, Swaffles is Weird, Teeny Dragator, and The Dogman.